<clears throat> Welcome back to my channel, you chodes. To preface this video, I just want to say thank you. To preface this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been showing consistent love and support. Honestly, I'd have never thought it would gain this much traction. It's beyond my expectations and, and I'm honestly in loss of words. So, uh, arigato. It's good. Where we met. Where's uh, Yan? Home? Yes. You met no, Kiko, right? I just met Kiko. I just went to see Kiko. I didn't even know. Samuel. I just thought there was this cool black guy. Oh, he cool. And then I realized after all, oh, that's Samuel, that Samuel Ross. I guess acronym, the guy, the boat, the guy. I was he was like, there too? Acronym. He was like, yo. But I was like, there was this, this black guy all dressed in white. I was like, I guess he's a, he's a tourist or something. Samuel Ross is there? I didn't even recognize him. Oh, wow. It's a human made collaboration store, apparently. He's taking pictures, man. This is actually really nice tea. Huh? Mackie on the move, man. The cactus uh, plant flea market, right? Collab with human made. Did this just drop today? Wow. Already sold out. It's insane. I heard you only had like five to seven pieces of sweats. Where I'll take this. Okay, thank you. Was it the last in stock? No, I think so. I think that was it. I don't know, I like the simpler ones like this, just cleaner. TBH, I don't fuck with any of their designs except for this one. Fire, how much was it? That's really cheap actually. Oh, fuck. Great kind of fit, bro. So, first in hand, Mackie. And the pants? Like, Paradox, Acne Studio. That's Acne? Yeah. No. Acne, yeah, that's Acne. That's Acne? Yeah. What the fuck? I've never seen this. It's a new like, season, right? I'm no, guessing. From like last year. Really? What? It looks like undercover, not gonna lie. Like the fit too, it looks like undercover. Oh. It's nice. And then the strap. Hard. Alright, since last time I couldn't show you guys exactly um, the footages that you guys wanted to see about the Sakura flowers, I'll show you guys right now. Basically, there's a river that's called Nakameguro River, and then from both sides... Jeez. I'm in loss of words right now. Fresh out of the bag! You like it? I think it's fine. Car, car. What? Oh, Mackie, save him. Oh, Mackie! Did you catch this on I, camera? I, dude, I got it, I got it. Oh, I could have got some money, bro. <laughs> Fuck, am I supposed to wash this? But I'm pretty sure you can wash it properly, no? Uh, yeah. I think you, yeah, water, you can wash it, yeah. Yeah, hand wash or some shit. Um, but one of my New Year's resolution was to quit smoking, and it's been three months now. No, not three months. Maybe like a month and a half. He said he'll be there. Avisu. But yeah, you dig. Uh, he would have just asked Nigo. And then you'll get it. And uh, probably Nigo will get it for him. Do you see Chanel, uh, Chanel Pharrell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know his hoodie? It goes for 10 grand. I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it goes for like 13 grand as well. I don't understand. I, I can't imagine how much the jacket and shit is gonna be. But I think the hoodie is reselling. Oh, for sure. The shoes, the shoes. It's because he marketed it the in them. One. Mackie, dear dance, man. Oh. Turn the music up in the hands long. Yeah. Tim, you can go and brush your shoulder off, nigga. I got you. Uh. 
Mac, you're really on the move, right? <laughs> You'll see more on his gram. Follow Mackie on the move. Yeah. The dick right next to the teddy. Cactus. Yo. Cactus plant, collab. Cactus flea. None of y'all have this yet. Yeah, he's very fucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit, we're hitting summer camp. There's stuff that like gets good, but like not everyone can wear, so it's still here. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, I got some cool pants. I'm gonna get a bones. Like, I'm good on that. And then wow, this kind of hard with the gems and shit. Is that a kimono? No, it's just good. it looks good. It's just with like baggy on the bottom, you know. Well, sure. I don't usually wear like wider, like let me like more fitted stuff, but like this looks looks good. I guess this sweater is going to Gizmo. Y'all doing your own things? I feel. I feel. You already know. You already fucking know. That's fire. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's hard. I didn't know it was sparkly. For those salty boys that wanted me to proxy, I guess it's going somewhere else. It's hey? going to the goat, yo. The goat. Are you gonna buy it? Yeah. Going to you gonna buy it, Giz? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I'll ask for if they have a size 2 though. Sweats. Sweat Played. Oh, this come in cap. They still have that bubble bass, huh? That like, there's a twill. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah they do. Oh, look at that extended, what the fuck, oh, arm or fucking pass. Yeah, Yo, okay. someone try that on though. <laughs> Should I try that on? Dude, honestly, try this shit on. Dude, what no. is this? No. Oh my guy, no what? Slenderman in Slender action, Man. bro, for real. Slenderman. <laughs> this shit just keeps going. <laughs> no, seriously though, the details. In fucking insane. This is a bigger size. Oh. I guess you guys are in luck. Yes. Going for 800 on grilled right now. He's downstairs. He's a uh, fangirling Adrian Ho right now. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do the Kuji? Yeah, I'm gonna buy this one. I'm not gonna copy you. Uh, I'm copying? <laughs> Why are we wearing the kimono? This is like the most inner layer of the kimono, right? Yeah, yeah, that's like a reverse. Yeah. This is like a Magella piece. Yeah. What is that? What size do you want to try on? One. Size 1. Small. Is that two? Two. Size 1 and 2. Did those just come in? I don't know, but this one's fine. Dude, look at that. I love that camera. That's right down your lane, too. Seriously. Oh. 200? No, this is size uh, 2. Okay. Can I try the this? waistband is different. Oh, they have they have the matching set. Oh, the jacket. Yeah, the jacket. People will see right through you, this camo yeah, shirt, man. Seriously. Oh, it's right here. You see? Yeah, this is your fit, man. That's right down your lane. For real. I want to try on those. Oh. 100% this is not my aesthetic, but appreciate the craft and everything. Just look at this. I think this is the only thing that I would probably wear from this entire store. Just a knit bomber. Oh my god, this is... I'm gonna try this on. I actually low-key want it, but... Too bad winter's over. <laughs> 80,000. Hardest thing I've ever seen. Six, seven bills. Six, yeah. seven bills. Yeah. Try it on. I did. It's fire. And I'd rather buy a bunch of pants and stuff than that John Mayer swag. I know, literally. Honestly. It's not really my swag, honestly. Just walked into Capitol and I feel like it's a chick from Instagram, Adrian Ho, I believe. I don't follow her, but we were just, we walked in and we were like, who is this chick? <laughs> Mackie was like, can, 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 can pay attention. Hole? Yeah, some shit like that, but apparently she's a model, Instagram model, right? Yeah. Influencer kind of thing? Yeah, she's an influencer, but she's here in Capitol right now. My friend's about to take a picture of her right now, so we'll see how it goes. 
very stressed. Though. Sorry. <laughs> you have no idea. Like, I just want to the model. Like, model? Yeah, model. Oh, dude, books when you're traveling is the worst thing. It makes me just angry. Just walking around, honestly. Maggie, you want a fish over there? Put it. Let me ask for you. I will ask for it. Okay, okay. Maggie, I know you were waiting for this moment. You just gotta do it. Just Maggie. Such a pussy. Maggie, no, stop. I mean, for real, I didn't have it. <laughs> That's so funny. Let me see the Kikos. My Kiko. Prodigies. Twinning. Maggie. Maggie's gonna become big in three years. All right, go ahead, Mackie. All right, I'm, I, I'm calling all my friends twice. They don't answer. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> the wider fit is so it. slept on, though. I had it. I have the purple ones. I have these. You do. You have yeah, these, I huh? Have those. Yeah. Not my scene. Yeah. Yeah. That's on Wars vibe. Yeah. Hello, how are you guys doing? Um, a lot of people have been asking me about. So, a lot of people have been requesting me to make a spring outfit idea video, which honestly, I haven't really thought about doing just because I'm gonna try my best. I haven't really thought this through, so I'm just really improvising everything right now. So I'm just gonna literally pull out everything I think might possibly fit in that spring and summer attire and see if you guys can see if you guys like it or not. Because honestly, I'm just I'm gonna just see what I can do. First, I think I'm gonna pull out this Alex shorts that I got maybe like a couple months ago. Um, put it there, and then let's see what I can do. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna try this. I'm gonna get a white tee. Uh, just a basic white tee, and throw it there. Um, I don't know, let's say the study. And then for shoes, I think I'm gonna go with, you know, obviously, the goat. So, let's see what I can do. Alright, so this fit I literally put together last minute, so bear with me. It's probably as far as like streetwear-esque I would probably ever go, so... Yeah. I kind of like thought that shorts would be a pretty big staple for a lot of people's wardrobe and um, I'm not a big fan of shorts but when it gets like scorching hot I have no choice but to wear shorts so um, I went with the 85 Jordans Nike Elite shorts uh, hoodie Uniqlo tee basic simple very just neutral colors which honestly I'm a big fan of and yeah, this is probably something that I would wear maybe just to movies or I don't know, like running errands, meeting my friends, whatnot. This is probably not a fit that you'd want to wear around girls just because like you don't want to show off your ashy knees and ashy ankles, you dig? Like, nah. I feel like for spring and summer, I always gear towards like silk shirts or something that's very nice and flowy, you dig, like for the vibes. Vibes, vibes dude, vibes. vibes. But <laughs> I'm gonna try something new today because I do want to get a little bit more experimental when I put out videos like this because you know, usually on a day-to-day -day basis, I always wear something very safe and very plain, but if I'm gonna make an outfit video, I'm gonna try something new, so... I think I'm gonna get these out. Um, the hider, hider sweats. And then I'm also gonna get the hider shirt. 
And let's say for shoes, we get the Dior boots. All right, let's give this a shot. All right, so this next fit, I literally thought of it on the spot and I'm getting pretty experimental with this because I'm like improvising all my fits and shit. So let me know what you guys think, yeah? Here it is. Uh, nothing too crazy, I, I don't think at least. But yeah, to break this down, Dior boots, Hyder Ackerman sweats, Hyder Ackerman uh, silk shirt, unique OT, really can't go wrong. And yeah, I honestly don't know what really to say about this fit. I think I'm just trying to be a little bit more innovative here and just trying to think outside the box because I'm literally improvising all my fits. And I'll definitely wear this fit again. I think it has a lot of potential. I probably would wear it to like a classy but casual dinner with, I don't know, your girl, your date, maybe even with your family. I don't know for all I care. I don't know, the best way to describe this fit is probably like effortlessly classy Vibe. Vibes, vibes, dude, vibes. vibes. And of course, I have to show you guys a fit where it's just basic as fuck and just very simple, very plain, and very boring, but a fit that you pretty much practically wear on a day to day basis. And I'll show you guys exactly that. I think I already know what's on my mind, so I'm gonna pull out this. Dick. I'm gonna grab these Rick Owens trousers. And the jound, the jound crew neck. How's that? And for shoes, I feel like we can just go with the Air Forces because why the fuck not? Here it is. Um, Air Force Ones, Rick Owens, Astaire, Silk Trousers, jound crew neck. Very simple, very clean. I think, uh, this is a fit you can't really go wrong with just because it's just... I don't know, you can't really go wrong with this fit. <laughs> I think if I were to describe this outfit, it has to be... Hmm... Dinner straight to the movies fit. I would say, honestly, I would say. But besides that, I probably would wear this fit every day. Yeah, just a very clean and casual look. So for my next fit, I think I'm gonna go with the pleats Which I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how I style my pleats and there are very different ways to style pleats So I'm gonna get to it and go with the black pleats. I have here and replicate the same look as the hider fit and just pull out the hider shirt and Dior boots, we'll see how it goes. All right, so one thing to note about pleats is that I have three different sizes for three different purposes. And I'm 6'1 for reference. I think size one for me at least gives off that semi-formal tailored look. So the only difference between each size is, is that they differ in length and not so much in the waist because they're so elastic. Size one is definitely more cropped. Size two for me is maybe around the ankles, and size three is definitely more of a cozier lounger vibe. Vibe, dude. And if these are size one, I would definitely wear combat boots or narrower sneakers like Common Projects or Nike Element Reacts. Let's say for size two, I would probably wear Jordans or high top sneakers, and size three, I would wear chunkier sneakers like Air Force Ones or I don't know, for you guys out there, maybe Balenciaga Triple S, which please never fucking do. Um, but yeah, I... I honestly love pleats just because it's very easy to learn about different shapes, different cuts. You just learn a lot about your dimensions and measurements. Because they come out with so many different models and iterations of these trousers, I think it's very easy to experiment and also not feel too uncomfortable and shy. I don't know if that's the right word, but um, I think it's just a very good entry level trouser where you can really learn about your own measurements. Once you kind of master that, you can really elevate your look by pulling off different fits, uh, trying new things out with these trousers, maybe get a different cut, maybe get a different color, shit like that. So best trousers, hands down, no questions. For the sake of this video, I'll also show you guys a size 
two in pleats and obviously the tailored model is the way to go. So yeah, hold on. These are a size two. Clearly the size one is a lot more cropped and tailored to your legs, but size two is a little bit looser. And obviously you can imagine that size three would be a lot looser than this. So yeah, um, I would style this with probably, like I said, Jordans or maybe even slides like the Rick Owens Birkenstocks. And this is something that I would never probably wear, but no, I don't know when I would wear this fit because it's not my aesthetic, but I'm just like really just wearing this for this video. So if you guys are into this, all power to you, but personally I wouldn't wear it this way because it's just not, it's just not my lane. So for the next fit, I can go with a little bit more effort into it. I'm gonna try to put in, all right, I'm gonna use this white denim or clay denim, and then I'm gonna throw in, let's see, hider shirt and YT again, I guess. And then for shoes, I might go with Chelsea boots, actually. Huh? For those who are wondering that whether I wear Chelsea boots or not, I don't, but for the sake of this video, I will. A little bit more classier and tasteful, I would say. Judge for yourself, um, to break it down, Wyatt's, clay denim, white t-shirt, Hyder Ackerman silk shirt, and I don't know. It, it looks like you put a lot more thought into it, which clearly I didn't because I really just improvised and put this together last minute. But to someone else, they might think, oh, you actually care about how he looks and shit. So I'm down to get in bed with him. Would you like to know how badly I want to have sex with a girl? No, no, no. It's a no to both of those. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't, you know, a great deal of fits or whatever you guys wanted to see, but spring summer is very tricky time to really dress up and look good at the same time. So take into consideration that a lot of these fits are my personal styles and everyone's different. So if you guys are into logos and graphics and you know, having all these hypey sneakers, all power to you. I have nothing against that. So take into consideration that you know, for me, I think logos, I've mentioned this in my previous video where I said logos are a little bit played out and graphics are getting cornier. I think everything has its own rifle place and has its purpose, but I do think there is a slightly right and a wrong way to do it. Uh, um, so if you like OD on Gucci and Balenciaga and have it all mixed up in your outfit, I think it's completely trash. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt, uh, do you. I, I think as long as you like what you wear, that's all that matters and you feel confident in it, then I'm only sharing this because I've had my first-hand experience going through this phase of this like hype beast, supreme, bape, and all that shit. I just realized after a while that it's just not for me and rather use that money on quality garments where I can see longevity. It wouldn't lose its quality or value or even just like its aesthetic to be honest. If As long as I have a timeless wardrobe, I think it's gonna be wearable throughout my entire lifetime and hopefully I can pass it down to whoever. You know what I'm saying? Like so. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, like this video. Stay tuned for more, whether it be vlogs, more of these outfit videos, or Q&As. Um, I'll definitely deliver. So, till next time. Thank you.